So let's speak a little bit more about the particular membrane type, the synaptic membrane, in the postsynaptic cell, in the dendritic side. So I'm looking now at this membrane. Again, I'm looking at the membrane as if it is a patch. This part. And I was just saying, actually, that there are two types of channels, ion channels, in this membrane. The one that I already told you about, let's call them the X channels, are the ion channels that previously represented R, the passive resistance. So these are channels that are in the membrane. They are passive. They don't depend on anything. This is the assumption. It's passive. And they represent, as a total, a resistance. I can also think about this in the following. I can say that each ion channel, this white channel, and this passive channel, and this passive channel, each one of them has a little conductance, GR. And I have, let's say, four of them. So the total conductance is one plus the other, and so on. So the total conductance, let's call it the big GR, the total conductance through all these passive channels is exactly 1 over R. Because conductance is 1 over resistance. So I can call the passive conductance of all those channels that we already spoke about, we call them the resistance, the source of membrane resistance, we shall signify them as GR the conductance of the passive channel. But in this particular membrane, the, 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 the synaptic membrane, there are another source, another source of conductance. Let's call them the red channels. In this particular region of the cell, when the synapse is interacting between presynaptic to enabling the interaction, between presynaptic and postsynaptic elements through this fantastic machinery of the vesicles re releasing transmitter upon arrival of the action potential of the spike. We shall discuss the spike in the next lesson. So this spike that is moving here initiate the release of the transmitter and this transmitter is interact with the receptor and this receptor is attached to a channel or channels that are called the synaptic channels. These are the red channels. So these are the synaptic channels. The synaptic channels, ion channels. They enable the flow of ions. And we shall call this conduction G of the synapse, of the synaptic channels. So you saw that this membrane is interesting because it has two different types of channels. The white channels are always open, independently of anything. We call them R, or 1 over R, we call them GR. These are the passive channels. And now, in the postsynaptic membrane, in this case of the spine head, you have additional set of ion channels, the red channels. And these red channels are opened only if transmitter is being released and interacts with the receptor. Only then, only then, you have the opening of new channels, the red channels, and this introduces a new conductance to the system, new path for current flow. So this is this conductance, the synaptic conductance. So coming back from this to the circuit, now you can understand the circuit much better. Because this R, you already know before, and now I now will signify it as GR. So instead of R, I will call this GR. The total sum of all the conductances in the resting state, in the passive state. This is always the case when you have a membrane. But in this particular case of this membrane, you have another conductance, which is open only upon the release of 
transmitter. So actually I should call this conductance or, or, or signify this conductance as tentatively open, could be opened only if there is a transmitter reaction with the receptor, then this conductance is now connected and there is a new path, a new path for current. And this current that will flow here will be called the synaptic current. Okay, so the current that will be flowing, either this direction or this direction, because now I added a new conductance and a new related battery, the synaptic battery and the synaptic conductance, because of these two new elements within the postsynaptic membrane, I will get a voltage that will be called the synaptic voltage. So let's talk about the development of synaptic voltage due to the opening of these new ion channels, the synaptic channels. But before talking about the synaptic channels, I want to say one word about the synaptic battery. What is this synaptic battery? What makes a battery for the synapse? 